Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Chase. So this week I will be doing the altcoin request video, a little bit of a switch up from our normal thing. Uh, and to be honest, I don't have a ton to say on Bitcoin or Ethereum anyway. Uh, price action's been mostly choppy, um, potentially distributive, but um, honestly, I, I don't feel like I have too much to say for uh, BTC and ETH. So I did feel like it was a good time to do an altcoin request video and just cover a bunch of alts. Uh, that's mainly been what I've been focused on the past, uh, you know, while Bitcoin and ETH have been ranging a bit, um, you know, alts have definitely been moving. Uh, we're starting with AVX here, Avalanche. Um, you know, I called for 100 back here and uh, I predicted exactly the line that it would do. I said, I'll be buying more in blue box. I did so to 100. Okay, hope everyone enjoyed that move. Simple as that. You can check my feed. The post was back in August. Um, as usual, shout out to Prime XBT for sponsoring these videos. Uh, check out my links at the bottom. Give them a try. Uh, you get a bonus when you sign up. And uh, no KYC, all that good shit. Okay. So, Avalanche. Um, I personally took some profits at 100. Uh, it's a nice round number. Um, it was my initial target. Uh, I took some profits. As simple as that. Uh, where do I want to get back in? You know, I'm not. I'm not sure yet. Uh, oh, by the way, just because I took some profits doesn't mean I closed my whole bag, right? Uh, you know, just taking percentages of my bag. I took some of my bag at uh, the high 70s, I believe. Um, I forget what the exact time was, but the high 70s. Then I took some more 100. Um, you know, I'd like to say I'm somewhere around half closed or something like that. Uh, you know, I'll keep the, I'll keep the other half open, you know, just in case we run to 200, 300 in the future, who knows. But um, yeah, I would look to add back some of that avalanche bag if we, uh, you know, retraced. Um, you have some clear, you know, I'm going to start most of these charts on the weekly. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like longer term trades have been more lucrative lately. Um, you know, we, we can just see that here. Um, you know, you could also see that on something like Ethereum. Um, I regret ever, you know, taking profit on this, but if you follow along, follow it along with me, you remembered that I had like a 30, you know, an entry at 3,900 and I think I was mostly closed by the previous highs, but, um, you know, it, it was a really great retest to this level. And, uh, it seems like, you know, keeping things open a little bit longer lately has been good, so to say. Um, you know, if you're a day trader, of course, if you're scalping, of course, I, I completely understand. But uh, just from an alt perspective and whatnot, it seems like things have been running. I'm not sure necessarily when that stops. But yeah, I, I've been keeping my things open a little bit longer than usual lately. Okay, one second. All right, let's get started. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah we'll get started. Okay. Adam, ICP, Z, C, X, and Peer. Okay, I don't... Uh, yeah, so I, I may not know some of these coins, um, but we'll just get it going. Obviously, I know Adam. Um, Adam, okay. So, yeah, like I said, we're just going to be on the weekly, and we're just going to try to sort of talk macro here, right? Um, we put in a high here, weekly closes, we could see. Put in a new high, retest this these old weekly closes right here. And uh, so far, we're just we're downtrending, right? So what I'd be watching for on this is a break of this downtrend, an obvious break, right? If you get some type of a breakout in here or something, and that should be your ride back towards the highs. Uh, or even, you know, you close 60% here, and then you maybe allow the highs to flip, okay? Um, and again, could it could just break down, right? But, you know, in terms of what I'd be watching for uh, right now in a, you know, a bull market, uh, so to say, we wanna, you know, we, we, expect bullish until proven otherwise okay it's as simple as that so big downtrend here if we can break out of the downtrend that's something to watch um and yeah i, I apologize you know in far as far as in-depth analysis goes you know I, I won't be able to go through all these if i do super in-depth so i'm going to try to go as quick as i can and just try to give some obvious macro thoughts um keep in mind that if we get an overall pullback on Bitcoin, something of that nature, something to the 50s or maybe the 55s or something, that all these setups, you know, if we're talking in a bullish situation, that they're all probably going to go to shit and everything's going to break down a bit if 
Bitcoin also crashes. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's an overall macro view right now that we're currently bullish and uh, that that, you know, these should continue ranging to a degree. Um, but if they do start to break down, obviously, you're going to see alts break down as well. Okay. So, Adam, yeah, downtrend. If we can get a breakout, it should go back towards the highs. You got a lot of high wicks up here. Uh, should be some, you know, ripe liquidity up there too. Could be good. Uh, ICP. Okay. What is this? Okay. Let's see what we got here. So we, you know, break down, break down, break down. And, you know, the, the, these charts are probably incomplete. Um, there's probably more data that I'm missing. Um, let me just take a look. Um, where else would it have been listed earlier? Maybe like a, a KuCoin? Nah, okay. So it seems to be mostly the same. Um... I mean, is there any clear levels here? I mean, I, I guess there's a pretty clear level here from the previous breakdown. Okay, we tap here, resistance, support, support, supports, breakdown, um, but mostly like chop, right? You got back above this level and you didn't really make much of it. So uh, I wouldn't have any specific plan for this one. Okay, I'm just going to say it like that. I'm not going to try to steer you guys on, on coins that I don't have a clear view on. That would just be stupid. Um, ZX, ZCX. I mean, looks looks somewhat bullish, right? Um think your you know your buy level is pretty obvious uh, this or the origin of this impulse move up is right around here so this would be your buy level if you get a retest uh, PYR we're gonna have to break down a bit more on this one Mm. I mean, bullish as long as it holds this level. This could be distributive action. Um, wouldn't be sure yet. You know, uh, the problem is a lot. A lot of these charts have recently took off, and it's. I think it's relying heavily on like the Bitcoin and the F macro as to whether these things are going to continue to like flip and leg or whether they're going to retrace to you know like old old demand which th this would be a buy obviously right so it, it mainly involves that but the good thing is you don't need to be able to predict the macro to hit those you just need to spot the obvious levels and watch for the flips right if it's if the you know if it goes up and it flips this probably bullish probably a long scenario if it goes down and retests this it's a buy scenario so you don't need to necessarily predict the macro ahead of time you just need to be ready with the levels okay link luna soul sxp i just realized i'm not going to be able to do every single one of these for every person we're gonna have to move a little quicker link soul luna I never liked charting link. Resistance, 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 breaks through, support, resistance, breakdown. This is your resistance level right in here. Never even came up and tagged it yet. Big breakdown, sweeps it probably, yeah, sweeps it, comes up, sweeps this, sweep, sweep again, what's next, hmm,
Depends how... Mm, I, I think... I mean, this would be... Once again, this would be macro bearish for crypto, right? For the next couple weeks or months if we were to see this level tagged again. Or, you know, it could just be a one-day crash, right? But, um, yeah, it looks like 2150 would be a buy. Um, outside of that, I mean, until you past this level it's tough to be a buyer on this uh, you got sweep you got sweep again uh, ethereum had action like this right and and you could tell where was it you know actually no, this was when you got the deviation but eventually you know this level could be i think alts are a little less fucky but but link is pretty link is pretty big so it could be you know have some fuckery too but Long story short, you know, until you break above this level right here, uh, tough to be super bullish, especially on these sweeps. So sweep, sweep, uh, could just clear out all this liquidity straight back to the demand level right here. That would be your buy go up. Um, yeah, that's about it. Soul. Resistance, 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 flips to support here. Uh, again, you know, just gonna, could go from here, could break down on the, on the, on the macro, right? Um, where would we be a buyer if we broke down? Something like this is probably a clear level if we refine to here. So weekly close on the resistance here, or three day. Three day close and the resistance here. Let's go down a little more. Can tell that sort of every time you break into this area, it, it's a full sweep, right? So when you get into here, it goes all the way up. When you get into here, it goes all the way up. You you exit it, you come back in, you go all the way down. So if we went back into here, I wouldn't be surprised if you get a retest of this level 185. Um, as far as this price action goes, uh, it seems like AVAX Avalanche was the only one who was really able to take this low time frame flip and do a lot with it. Um, it seems like F failed on it, right? So F was uh, tried to pull this break out. I didn't play it. It felt trappy. Um, and then Soul once again, it looks like it, it's unable to do it as well. But AVAX actually did do it quite well, uh, and you could see in the hourly. Boom. Uh, but again, you know, did take some profits up here. Yeah, I mean, so so that is what I'd be watching either. You can see a big wick here, right? So people did buy up this level fast, right? We watch, we watch what happens at this level. Uh, sort of like what we're seeing on ETH right now. It's sort of the same thing. We watch what happens on this level. And if not this level, then we most likely buy this level. Um, and that's thoughts for soul. Luna. Just realized this is gonna like take forever. <laughs> All coins videos are tough. Never even retested, bullish. Um, Resistance, resistance can't candle close above the whole entire time on the three day. Finally closes above, retests. Again, you know, guys, we're, we're seeing a ton of this same thing. That's This is why this is really tough to do right now and why I chose not to do Bitcoin and Ethereum right now is because, unfortunately, I, I feel like all you can do right now is chart levels and, and be ready. I don't see a ton of stuff that's very actionable at this current time. Um, and I mean, you, you guys know, you know, week to week, we, we find a lot of potential actionable setups and execute on them. But uh, this specific week, you know, I've sort of been delaying this video because I haven't been able to find m many things that have been actionable. And uh, the trend continues. So you get a retest here, you think, okay, could be bullish or could break back down and be bearish. It's really difficult to say. Um, yeah, that, that's it for this one. BNB. Bit of a weak 
quickly. We got a lot of data here. Wow, crazy. Could have, could have bought it for so long. Mm, okay, well, let's just mark the obvious, right? Weekly res. Um, full body into the weekly res. Closes high again. Um, you know, makes me think that, you know, people are buying this up aggressively. Uh, flip of this level should obviously be your buy. Um, don't think I'd be, you know, it isn't like a, a long-term buy, right? I think that's something you scalp because you could, you know, you could do something like this, right? You could flip this level to support, okay, it flips, and then you get a new high, but, you know, slowly but surely breaks back down, right? It's not something I'm, I'd be looking to hold, right? Um, when you're getting into hold positions, you want to find, you know, look, previous origin, of impulse right impulse move up huge all the way back down boom origin of impulse retested this is where you get your long-term you know quote-unquote long-term bags right and, and when I say long term it, it may just you know in crypto long term might just be a couple months right um, or even a couple weeks who knows but point being is you really don't you I don't personally look for new long-term bags at all-time highs I, I don't think that's the move so we have origin of impulse here. We came back down. We retested, retested, retested. We bounce off. Um, it's obviously going to be. Let's break down a little bit here. Get rid of some of this. This is clean. We can keep this here. Okay. Comes up. We're just consolidating right under the resistance here. I mean, again. Could, could be bullish for some kind of a breakout. Um, if we do break down, you know, we need to find a little bit of value. We also have confluence here with this, uh, with this big breakdown move right here. So we got big breakdown, resistance, resistance, uh, previous resistance before this up move sort of began. Um, we could throw, let's say, on this leg. We could throw a fib on this leg. And we can see that we're sort of right around the, uh, you know, the mid range here. If we were to get a retest of this area right here, sort of, sort of value area, right? Support, resistance, resistance here, resistance here. It would be a heavy retrace. Uh, I don't think I'm in the market for that just yet. Um, I think I would be watching this low. Yeah, exactly this. I'd be watching this low into this previous demand origin of impulse right here uh, something like this sweep um, this is where you get your you know a little bit of a fake out new all-time high uh, retracement da 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 into breakdown value area right here confluence of the mid-range uh, 618 uh, the level that I had marked out here origin of breakdown down and then maybe up if we continue the bull market. Okay, something like that. Senso. I don't think I ever heard of this one. Senso USDT. KuCoin? Okay. So... So, you know, accumulation, so to say. Uh, breakout, new high, sweeps the high. Uh, somewhat irrelevant, though, on some of these lower caps, I feel like. Um, origin of impulse, flips to resistance. Hardly ever retested until here, break up. Um, don't have much of a read on this, honestly. Uh, I think we can see that, you know, you have resistance level here and you're getting some taps here. Uh, if you get a flip of this, you know, could be bullish for a little while. Uh, your retest is down here, obviously. You have not got a retest at this level yet. Um, origin of impulse, resistance, resistance, resistance. Uh, boom, tap, and could go something like that. Would like a super chart, okay? Pretty 
obvious level here, put in a floor, floor, origin of breakdown, flips to support. What's next on this one? Interesting. I don't like that it never really like, oh well, yeah, I guess it did right here. It was just very brief. I suppose that could mean bullish. Um, did sort of sweep this little area right here. Break above here and most likely to Hmm. Let's break down a little more. Yeah, this one's a little odd. Um Yeah, I mean, I, I suppose if you flip this level, you could get to here. Uh, I'm really not sure what's next for this one. Um, yeah, it's tough to say. I, I don't know the backstory at all. I don't, I don't know what happened in here, right? Like, is this like a, you know, is this like the listing dump or, you know, it, it's very like, or is this like actual relevant price, you know? It, it's tough for me to comment on some of these that I have little to no knowledge of the backstory. Um, GLCH, uh, guy says it's probably too hot to buy. Uh, I mean, he's not wrong, you know, it's another one of those parabolic charts. Um, charts parabolic, you gotta be taking some profits along the way, really as simple as that. Uh, if you wanna hold a moon bag, be my guest. Uh, ADA, um, you know, I don't know much about ADA. I just, uh, people always say it's like vaporware or whatever, who knows. Accumulation, man, just the, just the COVID breakout for everything. It's crazy. Uh, puts in a lower high and then flips that lower high into support. You got a high here. It tries to support price and then it breaks down. Tries to support it right here. Uh, deviation here. I mean, this is just like ugly PA. Like who wants to be a part of this? Uh, I would not be a part of that chart. Fuck that. Uh, Algo trying to break out. Man says. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks good. You know, you got all these high resistances here, and then you got support here. Again, another one of those things, right? Um, is it going to be is it going to be macro deviation, or is it going to be, you know, break and go? Um, well, your guess is as good as mine. Oh boy, we're gonna have to push some of these the next week. Holy shit! Uh, okay. Saito on Chart Dot Coin Trader. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna put in links right now. Sorry. Um. I should have did that off stream. I'll try to catch you next week, man. That's my bad. I always put all my other stuff in a separate browser. I don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, vet. The old V chain. A dino, but it, it survived. There's a dinosaur that survived. Big parabolic move. This is reminding me of the Bitcoin chart. Uh, 2017. Holy shit. It's the same exact thing. Look at this run up, the big nuke down. Uh, very similar. The run up, the nuke down, the breakdown. That's pretty cool. The run up, the nuke down, the breakdown. Mm. Okay, so you got clear weekly closes here. You got origin of breakdown here. That's where you're getting rejected off of right now. If you could clear into this, if 
you could start getting some closes into here this is probably your retest into here that's probably the move um, if you get a breakdown uh, you're sort of having like F F tier price action right now right you would just simply buy you know the the origin of impulse of this move okay so th that's what I'd be watching on that okay FET VRA and then uh, you know, we'll see we might wrap up after that interesting well on the weekly you're you're struggling to close here so if you can get a weekly close up into here that'd probably be pretty big and then you'd probably watch for some type of consolidation on the old uh, you know on the old major resistance here could probably break this down more um, resistance I mean the, the levels just the levels just getting uh you know completely toyed with so to say you're having a hard time getting a any any solidity here or, or, or clear looks like the weekly is the only thing providing you like clear information it just keeps rejecting on the weekly so I'm gonna keep an eye on the weekly for this one uh, you know obviously this this low sticks out to me in a major way uh, upon of a breakdown you know overall market breakdown most likely that you would watch for that low into this origin of impulse right here impulse move up okay you got a low you sweep that low you sweep it and then you go something like that uh, VRA okay so 3d close barely you don't really get a retest of that level you'd have to go deeper you probably get a retest of this on the daily these daily closes right here yep so there's your retest but you don't even get a resistance test here that's interesting so resistance resistance retest uh, now we're off to sort of a new area right this we consider this portion and this you know two different things right here so we're sort of on to something new we're on to the you know the next cycle so to say unless it breaks back down below until it breaks back down below this is sort of new new price action here um, so you get resistance all, all this resistance area here and then this is sort of your origin of the move upwards uh, origin up there's a clear retest of the origin right we talk about that all the time it breaks up um, I would say as long as it's not back down below here uh, you know if it was back down below here you'd have to start watching you know these levels right in here pretty clear here here start watching that but uh, until then it, it looks like it could be good good to go higher um, you know it, it, you really start you'd have to start watching it level by level right you would look next to to this area in here okay because you had previous support 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 resistance and now is this gonna hold right so does this do this or does this do this and how many times do you test the blue right if you if you do that and then you do that and then you do that and you keep testing the blue you know the level can only hold so many times right so that's sort of how you monitor that you, you don't want the level to be tested too many times and you want these previous resistance levels that have flipped to support to be support again okay and then you watch like this level right here and you want that to be support again as well and then you watch that and you want that to be support again as well that that's an uptrend okay really as simple as that all right guys um yeah in terms of the overall market and whatnot like i said i'm, I'm pretty indecided at the moment um i still do believe overall bullish although things do look like they could be somewhat distributive um Probably, you know, if there's a sell-off, more of a short-term thing, I don't think we're going to get that 52K like people have been eyeing. It's probably more of a short-term pullback. If we do see one, uh, a little bit higher, and we go from there. Uh, you know, taking it one step at a time, as usual, during a bull market, always taking some profits along the way. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, as usual, shout-out to Prime XBT for sponsoring these videos. Um, I'll try to keep up with more of these alts that I missed this week, and I'll put some into the next week's video, and uh, we'll just keep rolling it out, okay? Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great week.